I'm Kyle Sellers of Sportslink. Alongside me here is number 86 of Ball State Football, Riley Miller. We're here today, this may be a little surprise to you, but we're here today to break down some of your big highlights of your career here. Okay. Get to know you a little bit, and then, uh, like I said earlier, a few surprises along the way. All right. Western Michigan team tried to win. Flint forced out of the pocket, goes towards the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Riley Miller. Now tell me what that formation was right there. Okay, so we call that formation Louis out. Um, Louis out basically puts the tight end to the call and then the three receivers away from the tight end. Okay, now we kind of get cut off by the camera angle there, but what route did you run? So that concept is kind of like a scissors concept where I'm running a post and the guy inside of me is running kind of like an out route, kind of like a corner route. But when I ran the post and looked back for the ball, I saw Drew kind of rolling out, breaking contain. So I just tried to, you know, kind of follow him with it. Uh, and, and fortunately, he put the ball up in the air and I, I tried to go get it. Oh, this day was windy. Oh, this formation here. Okay. Um, so it looks like we have a bigger personnel in, so there's two tight ends, and there's actually kind of like a conversion um, on this play, so like it's either an out route or a go route, and since he was pressed up on me, it was a go route. It, you could kind of see me kind of fade with it. Uh, it. The wind was dancing that ball in the air, so I was just trying to get my hands on it, and, and fortunately I got two feet in and made the touchdown. Tell me you're lined up in the slot, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, when you go up for the jump ball, kind of like that, why are you the one coming down with the football? A jump ball not a, isn't always who jumps the highest. Sometimes it's who times their jump up the best. And so if I can kind of hold off on jumping until the last second, I will, I will get to the ball faster. It's kind of like me, you and I are going to race, but I get to say go. Um, so if I get to say go, I'm automatically probably going to have a head start just in the way, just by kind of how the cards fall. Now, we had to bring this one up because obviously, number one on Sports Center. Sure. How did you come up with this ball? I kind of take pride in, in catching every ball that comes my way, um, or at least try to. Um, one, being number one on Sports Center, that's every kid's dream. But coming up with that ball, I don't want to say I've made a couple of those plays in practice, but you kind of envision doing that. You see people in the NFL doing that a lot, um, just because they got to shield the defender off with one hand, but they still have to make the play. You mentioned your dad. Yeah. Does this guy look familiar to you? Heck yeah. Now, did you get your jumping ability from him? Because on this play right here, this little putback, I mean, yeah. how sweet is that? It's always fun watching these clips. I don't know where you guys found these clips. <laughs> He always said he came off the bench and was a shooter, but he sure had some dunking ability too, if, if you ask me. Like I said, basketball was always my sport. I wanted to be just like my dad growing up. Um, so th these are always fun. Smooth little jumper there, wasn't it? It's funny, actually, about that Sweet 16 game. We had the CBC dinner. We had a bunch of um, a bunch of those guys back for one of like the golf outing, I think it was. And it's kind of cool to see like everybody in the community there. Just kind of that and them talking about all the stories. I mean, a lot of those guys haven't even watched the game and it's been 30 years or so. Oh my gosh, look at that jacket. He might still have that jacket, honestly. <laughs> but just kind of hearing all their stories um, and if we can make it to a bowl game, maybe even win the first one in school history, I can see us having those moments coming back to campus and kind of reliving those stories as well.